Hi everyone, my name is Sheila. My story is about my big breasts. More precisely, how they interfered with my life. Yes, imagine that I have a couple of stories in which I've been in an extremely horrible position. I'll tell you about those. Some people like big breasts. Personally, I didn't really care. I remember my mother as a child said that the chest on a woman is like her face. It also catches the eye, and if there is something to show, you should do it beautifully. Well, as for my childhood brain, that was kind of strange. I wore t-shirts until the moment, even when my breasts had already begun to grow. I hated the fact that they were going to stick out. I covered them up in every possible way with wide clothing, but they grew so fast that they even peeked out from under my shirt, and then one day, my mom caught on to it. Wow, Sheila, congratulations, my girl. For what? Your growing breasts, they're so beautiful. It's nothing, Mom. She took out a box from the closet. I opened it and saw a bra. What is it? Your first bra. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Waiting for what? To give it to you. I bought it in Milan. Wear it with pleasure. Just don't forget to take it off at night, because then your breasts won't grow properly. Won't grow properly? Well, from that moment on, I almost never took it off. But my mom's words turned out to be false, because my breasts grew despite everything. I even read on the internet how to make them smaller, but they grew with every quarter. And then that bodice got noticeably small. I had to tell my mom about it, which she was even more happy about, and she took me to an underwear store. My complexes grew along with my breasts. My classmates said they were cool and they were jealous of me. Everyone seemed to rejoice, except for me. And then I changed bras every year, and almost by the end of school, I already had a size 5 chest with my fragile build. And I will tell you that this has its difficulties. For example, I felt a real weight, and at night, if I slept on my back, it seemed that someone was sitting on me heavily, and if on my side, I was afraid that my chest would pull me down to the floor. But that's not all. One time, we went skating as a class and went to the mall, and had to take the elevator up to a certain floor. We all got in the elevator, and I was the last one to get on. Beep, 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 beep. The elevator couldn't close its doors because my chest was sticking out like an obstacle. Shit, how uncomfortable I was when the most throaty boy told me to move my boobs. I had to turn my breasts inward, and I pinned them onto the boy. He was shorter than I was, so he had his face in my chest like a baby. I ran out of there red with embarrassment, and the boys were chattering away, asking me how soft they were for him. I couldn't wear the clothes I liked because they didn't fit my chest, and then the boys all started staring too. It embarrassed me. You should be proud of the fact that they're from nature and my genes. I want to go to drama school, you know, but they don't see me as a person. They just look at me, Mom. Well, let them look. What's the problem? Consider this your ticket to the stage. After a few years of theater school, I went to a casting call. I saw an ad that they were looking for actors, and I decided to test myself. I wore a beautiful dress with buttons in the front, more or less hiding my breast size. I went to the audition and prepared to go on stage. At the most crucial moment, my microphone fell. I bent down to pick it up, and the buttons couldn't take the strain. My dress came apart at the seams, and the judges gasped. I fled the stage, though I then got a call from the casting director who offered me a role in a film slightly older than 15 plus. I was so offended. I realized that my dream could not come true, and I decided to try something else. A couple of years later, a friend advised me to go work as a stewardess. Then my breasts had gotten even bigger. And what's the fun about that? Well, a good salary, and you have the right appearance. I thought about it and decided, why not? They took me in almost immediately. They said that the external parameters fit. And then, my first shift. I was worried, I had a safety briefing, and I sat on the seat to fasten my seatbelt, but it wouldn't buckle. It was on my seat that the belt closed, became short, and my chest didn't fit in any way. I called for help from the other girls. They all tried but couldn't, and then sat back down. Eventually, we took off. I was holding onto the seat with my butt. And then I was told to go serve drinks. I grabbed a table and went among the rows. 
People had juice and tea. While I was pouring the hot tea, one of the passengers wanted to get up. I lost my balance and pushed the kettle off the table with my chest. Hot water poured out right onto the woman. She screamed like a mad woman. I tried to take control of the situation, turned sharply to call for help, but my chest pushed the man sitting next to me. He hit his head on the table, and the juice and water poured over him like dominoes. With 20 minutes of the flight left, the row was wet, my excitement caused me to breathe deeply and my chest along with me. I rolled the table away, then turned around and tripped over something. I fell on someone's husband, my chest right in his face, and he started panting. It turned out that he had a heart condition, and because of my chest, he was very worried, began to wave his hands, and his wife grabbed my tits and began to push me back. But I could not move, because I was stuck. Get those tits away from my husband. I can't. What do you mean you can't? He's going to choke on them. Somebody help me. My husband's about to suffocate. He's asthmatic. Get him out. I can't see his face. Ah! Girl, get his face out. At least his nose. I'm trying. It's stuck. You're the one who fell on him. Get it out at once. Chaos ensued. People started filming everything on their phones. Some laughed. Some froze in surprise. But personally, I was so ashamed. The situation got out of hand. I got pulled out somehow by the other stewardesses. That man then never looked in my direction. But then again, he never dared to look anywhere but at his own wife. It was my first and last flight in my life. I never flew again. I came home and told my mom I wanted to have breast reduction surgery. Why? I can't live like this anymore. I can't have a normal job because of it. I don't have a boyfriend. I can't drive a car because I can't reach the pedals with my feet. I can't go to clubs and dance because it hurts me. I can't eat because I can't see the plate and I can't sleep properly. I'm tired of it, Mom. I found a clinic that promised to reduce it by three sizes, just like I wanted. I saved the money and went there. A young doctor was sitting there. He examined me and said, You have nice, healthy breasts. Why don't you rethink this? I've made up my mind. It's bothering me. I can't even find a proper job. Maybe you're just looking for the wrong type of job. What do you mean? What if you work for me? What do you mean by that? Your breasts could be the face of my clinic. We don't just make them smaller. We also make them bigger. But I have my own breasts. It's just marketing. We'll pay you well. What do I have to do? Our clients want to touch a live girl before they go under the knife. We can offer your services. You want me to be touched by girls? Well, roughly speaking, yes, but for good money. How much? Is $350 an hour okay with you? When do I start? Well, yeah, I decided to sign a contract with them. I could make some money from it for now, but I didn't think my breasts would get so many reviews. Girls came to the clinic in droves to look and feel. I didn't even say anything, just smiled and sat there, and the doctor did everything else. Told me what to do, commented. Six months later, I got rich enough to hire a driver to take me wherever I needed to go. Plus, I met a guy who was excited about breasts, and I also promoted my social media and started advertising swimwear, lingerie, and stuff like that. Now I'm 21 years old. I'm a size 7. But you know what I realized? It's a lot easier to get over big breasts with money. That's why I still go like this. At some point, I even started to like it. Now I just don't fly on planes, don't ride public transportation, and sew my own clothes to fit me. I also made myself a special bed with holes so I can sleep on my stomach. Well, that's about it. What would you have done if you were me? What size breasts do you have? Do you want bigger ones? Hi everyone, my name is Eleanor. People still call me Elia. Elia Tits. Yes, if you don't know, tits are breasts. Nature rewarded me with two melons in full. And before you get jealous, tell me how cool and beautiful it is, I'll tell you about the pros and cons of such an award. Well, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and write your opinion in the comments. Please support me. So, my whole childhood was like everyone else's. I played, met children, and everything was fine until I was 10 years old. At this stage, girls began the so-called growing up. It was a terrible period because my caring mother would not let me rest. 
She examined me every day and observed the changes in my body, and I was so uncomfortable, and I really wanted to be left alone, but it didn't happen. My favorite items in my wardrobe were t-shirts, t-shirts and sweatshirts. I just loved wearing them, because you could eat as much as you wanted in them and you still couldn't see your stomach. Well, once my mother and I were going to go to some holiday, it was a wedding, I think. My mom bought me a nice white t-shirt with a small net and something else. Mom, what is this? I asked her, and she was like, this is a bra. You are now grown up, and so you need to wear it. You can take them off at night and only walk with it during the day, she said. I picked it up, my first bra in my life, and realized that it was uncomfortable. Rejecting the idea of trying it on, I put on a t-shirt and said I would go like this. My mother did not contradict me. We quickly gathered and went to the event. I went there in a good mood because I just loved to look at the brides. They looked just magical. I sat down at the table and realized that the kid sitting across from me was staring at me. At first I didn't know where he was looking, but then I looked closer and noticed that he was looking at my breasts. I went to the bathroom and looked at myself in the full-length mirror. Only then did I notice that my chest was sticking out and more... Well, you know what. It was a nightmare. I felt ashamed and embarrassed. I went to my mother and told her about the situation. She smiled and said, I brought you something to wear. You have grown breasts and there is nothing wrong with that. A woman without breasts, like without arms, all girls have them. Then the music started playing and I wanted to dance so much. I just love dancing. But when I went out on the dance floor and made a couple of rhythmic movements, I realized that they were bothering me, and that kid was still staring at me. I immediately sat down at the table and sat hunched over all evening. I didn't want to get up and be looked at at all. Of course, the adults didn't see it, but that boy, he really confused me. Running home in the evening, I took a shower and picked up the bra. Somehow I put it on myself and looked in the mirror. My mother came into the room at that moment and said that it fits perfectly. I didn't understand what that means. How can breasts look great at all? My mother said that this device holds the chest when walking and running, and then we are not hurt or uncomfortable. I wore it to school the next day and still didn't tell anyone about it. I didn't want to discuss my body with the girls, but they still saw it when we changed in the locker room. I began to hide it, and then it turned out that eight of my classmates already wear such things. This calmed me down. And then the nightmare started. My breasts were growing nonstop. After a couple of months, my mother bought me a bra in a bigger size, and then another and another. When I returned to school after the summer holidays, my classmates were totally freaking out. They didn't see me, they saw my breasts. And even the big white t-shirts couldn't hide them. At the first lesson, when I sat down at my desk, I realized that my breasts did not fit there. I sat down closer, but I squeezed them hard. It caused pain, and then I had to put them on the table. You won't believe it, but I closed half of my notebook. I was still sitting on the first desk in front of the teacher, and when the historian came to us, said hello, and sat down in his seat, he just paused for a minute and looked at me. Can you imagine how awkward it was? All the kids in the class noticed his reaction and just started laughing out loud. Their laughter finally distracted the teacher and he blushed, then asked me to move back. I was ready to sink through the ground. But then something even worse happened. We had gym class. For your information, I'm a pretty good dancer. Yes, it's true. And I have great flexibility, and I was determined to get into a cheerleading group because it offered huge advantages for high school students to go to college. Who doesn't need a scholarship to study? Everyone. But for this, you need to be active and persistent. So cheerleading is the best thing. I was put on the girls' team because of the plastic surgery, and our captain didn't hide the fact that my gorgeous breasts would have an effect. Well, for the sake of such a case, I agreed but I didn't think that I would need to wear a certain uniform. I was given a short skirt and a crop top and invited to a rehearsal. As soon as I entered the hall, our boys started whistling, calling me Elia Tits and clapping their hands. 
damn, I wanted to get out of there, but I set a clear goal and went with it. So I took all my will and started dancing. Our boys were often distracted from the game, watching my breasts jump. Sometimes they threw the ball in my direction and asked me to pick it up. I was maddened by the humiliation. Training turned into a nightmare and I came home in a bad mood. My mother immediately noticed the tears and sat down to talk to me. I told her everything, and then my mother got up and led me to the bedroom. She showed me a photo when she was young, and I couldn't believe it was her. My mother had the same breasts as me. They were huge. My mother laughed a lot when she told me about them. I asked her how she coped with them, and my mother said that it was all so awkward and difficult for her, but then she just accepted herself like this. By the way, your dad married me because of them, and you won't believe it, but everyone was jealous of him. It is now they are smaller and not as elastic and beautiful as yours, but women's breasts are very beautiful, she told me. My mother took another bra out of the closet, but it was open work black with wide straps, and she gave it to me. I also said that it would be much more comfortable for me, and it also made me feel different, more feminine. And you know, she was right. As soon as I tried it on, I saw a different side of myself and realized that I was beautiful. My participation in cheerleading will only get better. I straightened up and smiled at myself. The very next day, I came to school in new underwear and a beautiful blouse. I began to be perceived differently, as a lady, and not as a kid in sweatshirts. Now, all the training sessions, I gathered an audience of boys from my class and others, and I felt like a queen. I realized that I should be proud of such a natural part of myself. Do you think it's beautiful or not?